Here are 17 major questions in React that I have encountered while appearing for front-end interviews and you might encounter them too. Now before we start in the upcoming videos, I am going to answer each of these questions. So if you are interested, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, number one, what is React and why and when should we choose React? This is important for you to know because the interviewer would want to know why you chose a UI library like React over other frameworks such as Angular or Vue, etc. Number two, what is JSX and its advantages? Now, JSX is used everywhere in React because it makes it extremely easy to write HTML in React. So it's important to know everything about it. Number three, what is the virtual DOM? React uses something called the Virtual DOM to enhance its performance. You need to know how this Virtual DOM is different than the normal DOM and what makes it enhance the performance of the application in React. Number 4. Class-based component versus functional components. Now it's extremely important you have knowledge between the difference amongst the two and why you would prefer using one over the other. Number 5. What are states and props? And how do they differ from one another? React uses state to manage changing data in an application and props are nothing but properties that are arguments passed into React components for them to communicate with each other. Understanding these in depth is extremely important conceptually. Number 6. What are the different lifecycle methods? You need to know different lifecycle methods as this will show your understanding in how the application loads up and processes information at any given time. Also, you should be aware of how to replicate component did mount or component did update lifecycle methods using the use effect hook in functional components. Number 7. Security in React. Since React is compatible with other open source components and does not have strong default security settings, it becomes vulnerable to security breach. You must have a clear understanding of how to maintain security over your application in React. Number 8. Different optimization techniques in React. This is important, be it any language or framework. React has its own set of optimization techniques that you must know. Some of them are code splitting, use memo, use callback. Make sure to have an in-depth understanding of all these and any other methods that optimizes performance in React. Number 9. Learn all the hooks. You cannot work with functional components in React if you aren't aware of all the hooks present in it. Make sure to understand all hooks in React, some of which are useState, useEffect, useRef, and a few more. Number 10. What are the different use cases of useEffect hook? useEffect can be used in different ways depending upon how you populate the dependency array. You need to understand what are the different scenarios this can be used for. Believe me, this is extremely important to know. Number 11. Can we achieve SEO in React? If yes, then how? SEO is not a design goal of React, but content websites built with React can be optimized to achieve better indexing and ranking, and you need to know how to be able to do that. Number 12. Difference between React.memo and useMemo. useMemo is used to memoize values. React.memo is used to wrap React function components to prevent re-renderings. Understanding the implementation will give you a proper idea of the differences between each of them. Number 13. What is the proper file and folder structure for React? As the project gets bigger and bigger, having proper knowledge of structuring your files and folders makes everything easily accessible and developer friendly. This is an important aspect, so make sure to know about this. Number 14. Use memo versus use callback. Use callback and use memo hooks cache a function and store a memory mapped value. It's important to understand the differences between them and what scenario to implement each of them. Number 15. Pure components versus higher order components. Higher order components are essential and an advanced technique in React for reusing component logic. Whereas a pure component implements the should component update lifecycle with a shallow prop and state comparison. So it only re-renders when any of their props change. Otherwise, React reuses the last rendered result. Number 16. What is the difference between a controlled and uncontrolled component? In a controlled component, the data is handled by a React component and in uncontrolled components, data is handled by the DOM itself. For example, if you are implementing a form, then to write an uncontrolled component instead of writing an event handler for every state update, you can use a ref to get form values from the DOM. 
Number 17. What is patching in React? Patching is when React groups multiple state updates into a single re-render for better performance. For example, if you have two state updates inside of the same click event, React will patch these into one re-render. And that's the end of 17 questions for you. Make sure to understand each of those in depth and also stay tuned as I make videos on each of them. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe.